Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's been a couple of days since we got the top on. It, the glue's had a chance to dry, so it's on here good and solid now. And we'll go ahead and we'll put the edge banding on. And uh, we'll bring you along and show you how that's done. All right, they got everything lined up here so we can get this done. We're going to uh, start right here and we'll just work our way right on around. We'll use blue tape to fit everything up and then when we go to glue it down, we'll hold it in with packing tape. So first off, we're going to get a little clamp here to uh, just help support this. Kind of a third hand. Just bump that in tight down there. Get that on there. Right here is where we need to make our mark. Good sharp pencil. And then we'll cut that at a 22 and a half degree for that corner. So we'll go in the other room and grab back out in the garage and we'll cut that on the chop saw. Be right back. All right, got the first one cut. Square end in here, bump that up tight. Get this end line lined right up where we want it. And I can see I'm already a little long. And what I did was I took the little bit of off cut. And this is what's going to help me fit this. So I can see I'm just, oh, maybe like a 30 second, well, not even 30, maybe a 64. So I'll go back out and we'll cut that on the saw and come back in. And that looks really nice. Okay. So we'll put us just a couple of pieces on here. Just to hold that down good. Now I'll just take my little off cut here and I'll mark my next one. Hold very well. Need to have that pull that piece right down tight on there. This is a whole bunch.
take these little one inch pieces probably harder than anything else all right we'll get this one done First time. That's great. Now we want to use this piece right here. So we can cut an angle on the end. We'll use this clamp again, kind of to hold that up until we can get things going. We might need two clamps, so we'll take this end back on here. Good there. Okay, we'll just work our way right on around like that, fit one in, cut the other in, until uh, we get all the pieces cut. And I'll bring you back when we get that done. Cut. I got my corners fit really good. So we'll go ahead and glue these on now. We'll uh, take off some of this tape that's holding these pieces on. Just work a couple at a time. Set our clamp down here to hold up this end while we set the other end. Alright. Now the way I do it is I put a good heavy bead of glue in this 
joint right here. Let me get my glue bottle unstuck. Use a type on three. Like that, and then I put a little squiggle line. Like that. Okay. Slide that in there. And give it a little rub back and forth to. to uh, Distribute the glue a little bit. Put a little tape on there just to hold it in place. Because right here, and get rid of the clamp, right here is my most critical, critical uh, spot. So I want to make sure that that joint is right where I had marked it before. And we'll just put a little bit of this and stretch that packing tape, slide it around under there. Check our fit on our part. That's going to look really good right there. So now we just kind of go down this edge here and find the end of my tape. And this is how packing tape usually goes. If you pull it up, then it'll mess the mess the joint up. That little stretch on that tape really, really sticks that down. And if it gets to where it's pulling up a little bit, you can Put a piece on like that, pull it down, stick it to the countertop, or the other cabinet. And that brings that joint right in there. Feels good, feels good. It's a little high.
And I put this stuff about every oh, four to six inches. sure to wipe it off. It wipes off with water. Try that off some tape stick. Leave that peeled up a little bit so it's easier to Feels good. Now we'll go ahead and take this one off. the same thing. That looks really good. All right. We'll just keep on going around. Do one more piece here. Clean our glue up here a little bit before we get too far along. And 
I want this joint here good and tight, so I'll put a piece of tape to kind of pull that right on around. Suck those all up nice and tight. See, now that I've got a little more counter underneath, I can get a little longer tail and I can pull that back a little bit and then pull that one tight and that'll make that a lot nicer.
okay we'll just continue on around like that and finish them up here we go it's all uh, taped on now I'll let that set for oh, an hour or so and uh, then I'll pull that tape off and, and uh, it'll look pretty good I'm thinking all right I'll bring you back when uh, when I have it all off and cleaned up Well, we finally got it finished. We still got to stain the cabinets, the uh, frames, but other than that, all the remodel stuff's done. It's just finish work now. If you remember, we had that built-in oven here, and uh, the cabinets come right out front with the cupboard, and we picked those. I had that goofy wall text, fake tile-looking stuff on the walls back here, and we went ahead and put the board on. And uh, then, of course, fix it, built our own countertops and put them in. So it really turned out nice. I'm really pleased with it. And uh, I know it was a long series, but uh, I sure appreciate you guys sticking with me and watching it. Uh, it was fun to do. So thanks for watching. And until the next video.